taxpayers and trust us to be good stewards with the resources that they've blessed us with. And we do that in so many ways around our effective business practices. It's important that the Board of Education look at extending the life of the buildings as long as possible, but at some point there comes a time when we also have to look at um, the replacement cost or the renovation cost and what's the best investment for our taxpayers' dollars. We embarked on uh, phase one of the master facility planning last school year. We needed a full assessment of our facilities. Looking at the roofing, looking at um, heating and cooling of the, of the buildings, looking at the windows, looking at the paving, really to put a roadmap together for capital improvement projects that are necessary in the district over the next five to ten years. Um, it's it's uh, no secret that we have a couple of our buildings that uh, have a little bit of age on them. They're still in, in good shape. Um, but they're aging and will they satisfy our educational needs for the next 50 years. And then you have to really do the comparison of is it wise to invest in a 50 to 60 year old building and spend that money or is it better to build new? The next phase we're beginning right now and we are in the middle of and that's master facility planning phase two and that's a community-wide conversation. It's important to, for us to reach out to the community to get feedback and input into um, very important and critical decisions that we're making for the future of our school district. Concurrent to the engagement part, which we're in the middle of now, we're going to convene a kind of a parallel process and that's called educational visioning. And that really isn't going to be a part of thinking about the instructional and educational trends moving forward for the next many years and then marrying where our facilities are at and maybe more importantly where they need to be over the next many years that so we can meet the instructional and programming needs for our kids. When we conclude those two processes, we'll have some plan options, which we will then, again, bring to our community uh, for some feedback. We're taking our time, we're being deliberate, we're being thoughtful, we're looking at all the avenues, we're gonna look at all the pieces of the puzzle, and hopefully when we put them together, something, something good happens at the end that we feel good about, and we have a good product, and we take it out to the community and everybody's on board. I want everybody to know that no decision has been made. Uh, we are going to trust this process through a, a, a series of many, many engagement sessions to really get a feedback from all facets of our community.